how much of, of what you do and how much of a challenge is it to kind of separate the cannabis cannabidiol products and people's automatic thought to, to marijuana? It's one of my big challenges and it's one of my, I'm an educator, it's what I've been doing most of my career. Um, so it's not new for me to ch face these challenges or these questions like, is it gonna get me high, you know, am I gonna pass a drug test? These are basic questions. But what I first do is explain cannabis and then there's marijuana and then there's hemp. There's grapefruits and there's oranges. There's, you, know, you look at it from a different perspective, it's still in the same family. The difference being the percentage of THC that is there from the seed ongoing. And when you have less than 0.3% THC, that considers hemp. I think above that is considered marijuana. Hemp, we use, I've used hemp seed oil and hemp protein. It's been used as a food. And under the same vein, we've, we've been able to get you know, the hemp oil from the stalk um, versus the seed with just actually has high levels of CBD actually occurring in it out into the people and it's been benefiting them.